Welcome to my perfectionism series. Today we're talking about the overachieving to burnout pipeline. Now raise your hand and don't lie if you're somebody who is an overachiever. You like to have goals and desires and visions and things that you want to do for yourself and you like to achieve those things. You're good at achieving those things, but you also tend to crash and burn. You do too much too soon. You do it at all costs. You're exhausted and there's this pattern that you notice like you put in all the time and the energy, the resources, all the attention, and then all of a sudden you have nothing to give. It's up and then it's down. It's up and then it's down. It's up and it's down. And even just me describing this up down, it's a very exhausting thing for your nervous system to be a perfectionist who does this pipeline. And it's very sneaky because you probably think that if you have things that you want to achieve, things that you want to do, it makes you a go-getter. And it is like, you know, it's awesome to have things that you want to do, things that you want to achieve. It's awesome for you to do that. But But the way that perfectionism shows up in this pathway is that you have no idea the cost that it has on your mental, emotional, physical, energetic, social, financial wellness, your well-being. And it's almost like you're very much driven by your ego. It's like, I have to do this. I have to achieve this. I said I will. This is on my list. This is on my goal. And so this is the thing that I need to do. Otherwise, otherwise something bad is going to happen. And this is the loop that this type of perfectionism happens in is that when you're doing things at all costs, you don't understand the repercussions or the consequence of what happens when you burn out. When you burn out, your entire nervous system gets shot. Your adrenal glands get shot. Your emotions get shot. You start to feel like you're behind. You start to compare yourself. You start to feel like you need to keep going or pushing through because that's what discipline and consistency is. And it just very much messes up your understanding of what action and what resting actually is. So being in this overachieving pipeline basically means that perfectionism has probably worked out for you in a lot of different ways. And the healthy types of perfectionism has worked out for you in a lot of different ways, meaning that it's nice to set a goal. It's nice to have standards around your goal. It's also nice to achieve that goal and feel good about the fact that you did a thing. And it's really great, right? That that seems like a healthy process. But if you're consistently and always doing that without really looking at why you're setting the goals that you're setting, most of what it is that you're setting for yourself isn't really driven by what you want. It's driven by what society wants or what you think society wants for you, whether it's your parents, whether it's society, whether it's, you know, uh, your culture, whether it's your work environment, you have these programmed voices in your mind that's driving you to do too much. And of course, existing in a world that values hustle, that values hustle culture, that values and pats you on the back. If you get an achievement, you know, you get your gold star, you're driven by that even if you don't think you are. And it's so deeply ingrained within you that you're not really able to separate whether or not the goals and the desires you have for yourself are for you and from you from the inside because you actually want to do these things or if they've been prescribed to you. So the degree that you got, did you want it? Do you, are you doing anything with it? The thing that you wanted to do that you're not doing, is there a story that you have around the status of what it means for you to do something or not do something? Or the fact that you're overextended at your work, you're always you know, going for the next promotion, going for the next raise, going for the next, next, next thing. And of course, there's nothing bad about like going for the next or you know, aspiring to be better or aspiring to you know, improve. That's absolutely healthy and normal. But when you're finding that when you do that, there's a crash involved with it, you are in the overachieving to burnout pipeline. And this has incredible negative consequences on a lot of different things in your life. Now, if you are wanting to know more about perfectionism or you're wanting to heal through perfectionism, I'm inviting you to our imperfect mastermind. It's a six weeks of self-exploration through different archetypes of perfectionism. So different types of perfectionism actually requires you to approach it in a different way. And this particular one is the overachieving to burnout pipeline. All right, I'll leave you the details www.alwaysplay.org forward slash imperfect i-m-p-e-r-f-e-c-t i'll see you in there